Welcome to Warwick. <laughs> Oh my goodness, just finished watching Utopia. What an amazing show. Impressive. Very good. Um, I'm Kate. This is my room. I live in Earlsdon. This is my kitchen. It's fucking freezing. And I'm in here with no shoes on. Oh! I, literally, there is no heating in here, so like, it's fucking cold all the time. My radio. I love my radio. Um, <laughs> this is the picture of me and Joey, my housemate. We had that done when we were in Brighton. Yeah, it's just me and her that live here, so... But, like all students, it's not perfect. <laughs> Got a bit of damp here and there, a few cracks in the walls, but, well, you know, it's home. I wrote this when I was first trying to, uh, figure out what my dissertation topic was. It didn't get very far. <laughs> but, you know, I have got a topic now, so don't worry about me. Yeah, this was, <laughs> this was from the Vagina Monologues performance we did last year, which I directed. And we raised, like, over, what was it, over £2,000? Is that right? I should know, I directed it, but I can't remember. But we raised it for charity, and it was a really successful performance. And there's another one this year. Uh, directed by uh, someone who was in it when I directed it and it's, it looks like it's going so well I'm really looking forward to watching it when it finally makes it to the stage. This was our um, kind of enthusiastic consent campaign we had recently uh, with Warwick Anti-Sexism. They're one of the societies I'm involved with and I'm also just in my dressing gown that my boyfriend gave me. I wear it like a house coat because as every student knows, student houses are cold. That said, I don't know if you can see him there with the pretend beard. Me next to him with the other pretend beard. Yeah. We've been together since we were... Well, I was... What was it? I don't know. We've been together five and a half years. So, he was in year nine and I was in year eleven. Scandal. I think I'm pretty much going to bed now. Night-night. 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 Yes, yeah, so in the end I didn't go to sleep. I kind of ended up watching Fifty Shades of Chicken. It sounds weirder than it is. It's a parody of Fifty Shades of Grey. It's just got a man talking really like pornographically about chicken. Oh, Facebook. You find me some weird stuff. Anyway. Well, maybe I will go to bed now. What's wrong with the plant? I mean, I can't repot it like that. It's Obviously. dying. Is it dead? Don't know. Or, or is it just needs some stuff cut? I don't know. I don't okay, know. I have to go. Bye. Bye. So I'm taking back my dog today.
I look at this tree every day as I get into work. It's my favorite tree in Warwick. It stands by itself, big when it's in bloom. It looks lovely and the snow as well. I like it especially when the sun is setting behind it. Welcome to the IDL, the International Digital Lab. Well, this is where I work. My very, very favourite thing about Fridays is that I can have a lion. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep sleeping as long as I want. Mm. Probably one of the best things about being a student in general. <laughs> um, it's about 11 o'clock now. I don't have any intentions to move for a few hours, so... What did you say about Ryan Gosling and like, is he actually a feminist? <laughs> Why is he suddenly this like feminist? Someone decided that he should be. Yeah. yeah. So today we're campaigning for a world without nuclear weapons, um, and we're doing that by build, we built a six foot uh, model nuclear bomb. We're getting signatures. It's just supposed to be a bit of fun to get kind of people engaged in issues on campus. Hi, I'm Emma Smith, and I look after the Research Student Skills Programme here at the University of Warwick. There's no pattern to my Fridays. Um, this Friday, I'm doing some admin this morning, scheduling some workshops. Then I'm about to go into one of the rooms here in the PG Hub. Um, and talk to some second year PhD students about writing their theses and structuring their thesis. Uh, I've got a last meeting about careers in academia for, for PhD students and then a nice early finish today uh, to hopefully get up the motorway before the snow hits. So that's it, my atypical Friday. Friday in the postgraduate hub is pretty much business as usual, looking at the bookings, seeing who's coming in, what's going on, and dealing with everything till normal time. So early dark really in here because it's only till eight. And then um, on a personal level, I was treat with Oswald Cappuccino and you should go on a pub in the evening. So Friday's good. <laughs> so what does uh, Friday on Warwick campus mean for you? Eh? Hey? Uh, I was doing the stakeholder bit so I, uh, I drew up a list of all stakeholders and um, separated them, um, well actually I used the World Bank uh, stakeholder analysis model, so it's quite cool because 
they add, uh, in front of the usual stakeholder matrix, they add this policy continuum model, which is this one. It's this one, and basically it measures how... All right, thank you. Bye. been a lot harder than I imagined but got my resignation letter typed up ready to email it's a little scary the uncertainty what comes next I think I've had uh, a lot of support from the people I work with. So, and my friends. So, I think it should be okay. Stop. I'm really good at sleeping. Um, if there was a degree in sleeping, I'd probably get a first. Um, there's just not much I like better than just being able to lie in bed, drifting in and out of dreams. Um, so yeah, I've managed to sleep till ten past one, so I should probably get up and do something now. Oops. I'm talking about um, graduation and jobs. Yay! And the future, which we're all so looking forward to, because we're both in third year. Yeah. And Joe's been having a chat with someone this morning about, like, social, work. social work and stuff, yeah. But... I just don't know what I want to do, so... And neither of us really want to carry on studying. That's a big point. Um, so, out into the big wide world in a way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I really just... I. Wish I had an ambition, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I really don't. Um, but we'll find something. We'll be alright. I'm right. sure we will. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like I, I checked like the the whooping, different whooping websites this morning. You're like, yeah, that's what I want to do now. You like you just work on farms for a year. Yeah. Just that's like, kind of what I'm thinking. I might do. I'm just so lazy, Joey. It's my problem. Like I'm not sure I can be a farmer because I'm too lazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. Um, yeah. Well, f there's definitely things that you can get by on. Like you might not get paid to do them. <laughs> You'll get like food and accommodation. That's all yeah. you need. That's all you need. <sighs> I think it would be a really great experience to do for a while. Yeah. But we'll do it together. Yeah. I'll be up for that. Okay. Cool. Yay! Yeah. <sighs> scary. Um, I'm gonna go and get some lunch if you had lunch. And this is uh, Louis, who is our Entertainer, DJ. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in the department? Department? Uh, steal wine from a company. <laughs> <laughs> the food court, which Joey was like spearing the way for and got set up, 
um, and I'm trying to volunteer, but I haven't actually been to the food co-op yet. Tuesdays, 12 to 5, where we sell food for, like, pretty much no profit. Well, if you're a member, no profit at all, like, literally cost price. Um, between the veg box and the food co-op, the only other source of food that we really use is skipping. It's like dumpster diving, basically. Um, and it's it's great, we get loads of food that way. What have we got now? So, uh, we've mostly eaten the last one now, but we had Twixes and some jam tarts. Micro with an instruction manual that engineers can't read. I, are you... I think three minutes is too much. Three minutes is too much. I'm fine. I'm fine. Make it too... Actually, we are pressing. Stop. Okay, let's start. We are currently living in Phil. If you'd come over to the sink, um, I believe that was oh, a horrible. chicken meal that some boys made last night. It would help if my hands weren't so cold, I can't feel. I wouldn't know if I chopped through a finger. Okay. Oh. I think that we work on in the lab is uh, brain computer interfaces. So, what I'm going to try and do is use my brain activity to well, well, uh, direct which way the table moves. So, this is the PCI table I've mentioned before. So, the more relaxed I am, the more blue the screen will go. If I'm not as relaxed, then the screen goes the other way. Thumbs, magenta. Ready? Go. Go, go, go. Uh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vegit. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed so that you'll see me in some like actual daytime clothes because I occasionally do get out of this dressing gown and wear real clothes um, despite what this film has made it look like so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get the train to Nottingham because half my life is spent in Nottingham I suppose because um, that's where my partner is and 
yeah, I guess it's quite pertinent that my Warwick in a Day experience is going to involve me travelling to Nottingham because, uh, yeah, it's like, I can't really fully, it's like having two communities rather than one, like the people I know in Nottingham as well as my boyfriend, they're just as much a part of my experience as a student as my friends here. And it does, you know, I do, I go on a Friday, most Fridays, and then I'm gone till sort of Tuesday evening normally. So, like, literally half my week is not spent at Warwick. Uh, I only have two days of lectures, so I'm lucky that I can do that. But, you know, it does kind of mean that I can't, I'm not fully here all the time. Like, I'll miss out on things occasionally happening in Warwick because I'm in Beesden. But it's worth it. I'm not going to try and make you look back now. <laughs> I think the veg box just came. I missed the guy because I was getting changed. Oh, but I think it's here. Oh, cold. Yes. We got a couple of leeks. It's all seasonal. Some. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Hmm. Pak choy maybe. So we get these every Friday from down to earth and that basically keeps us in vegetables for the week and because we don't buy any meat and we buy all our grains from the co-op we don't really need much else actually. Yep, yeah, I'm going to pack now to go to Ed's uh, and I really need to get a move on because I'm moving really slowly today. Off out into Ilsden, I guess. Ilsden's a nice enough place. People give it a bad reputation, I think. Everyone always says it's full of crime and stuff. But I've always felt pretty safe. Coventry's got a fair amount of green space, actually, for such a, what people usually think of as a sprawling concrete mass. It's not that bad. <laughs> you are like you've got a dead body in your laundry bag. Okay. Oh, no. oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Literally like watching a pheasant trying to cross a road. Here we go.
I'm gonna miss my train. Train number two now, of three. So I missed the direct one, so. Yeah. Oh, I missed the five past. Hot chocolate then. Why are these cats so normal sized? Kismet is the best Indian restaurant yeah. only because Sean works here mm -hmm. with his creative talent and stuff like that. Amazing talent. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, Sean's not going to be working here very soon because Sean's going to go to Pakistan and India with this young man right. to find himself and to find himself the recipes that or the flavors that he haven't, hasn't experienced at just the moment yet. Yeah, yeah. Well done. <laughs> The reason you do it is because society makes you do it and it makes you put see stuff in different ways and it it so makes why girls cut favorite colours pink in it's it's not not my favorite like, colors like in primary school. Yes, yes but you know Victoria like, turns the well, girl colour is blue and the boy colour is pink, but like it's it's constantly fluctuating. Except the fact that girls and boys have that has never been a fluctuation. No, because there's always been differences in how society shapes you into stereotypes. And the stereotypes are bad, that should affect more people as an individual. Did you throw the plant away? No. Where is it? Cone. Yes. Cone. <laughs> it's a mini cone. Get a John, try and jump over it. <laughs> Get a picture of the cone with the cone. I don't know if I can, brilliant. it's too far away. Look, like that. Oh. I need to get some money out so I'm not used to it. Oh, right. Do you want to go get money out now? <laughs> Skipping again. What have you ordered? I've ordered a classic burger and a strong bow because it's cheap. Everybody's ordered a classic burger. I didn't. Where big. Cut the haggis, Jenny. Cut the haggis. Mm. It's most of the insides of a sheep served in the rest of the insides of a sheep. <laughs> With some oats. <laughs> Cheers. Happy bins night. So this is the Beesden house and Beesden people who are Nottingham students, so they're filthy traitors. Hi. This one's mine. Hello. 
And that one's his, I think. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so this is a nice house. This is what a nice house looks like. It's possible for students to live in a nice house. They just don't give Warwick students any. Oh, that was the wrong one. Uh, See? Nice kitchen. Fresh flowers. This is their house, and it's warm. It's so warm that I'm wearing my T-shirt without a jumper. And, uh, yes. Something you should know about my, my friends in Beesden and my boyfriend and myself, actually. <laughs> That's just a unicorn. Is that we are... We're reenactors. We we fight each other in a like a historically accurate way. Uh, hence all the the weaponry in this room and the many posters of fighting. This is Jacob. Hi. Oh, look at this. You know you're talking about the Southampton. I've got just got an email saying there's a lot more French degree at Southampton. Really? Yeah. What? They're trying to get us. They're trying, they're trying to get us back. I'm taking this back. I like Warwick, not Southampton. That's definitely going on to Warwick. Why are they trying to do it? Why Go just... away, Southampton. Because we Southampton don't want you. Just wish they were good enough for us. Well, should that I get one. in the other leg? <laughs> Try. I don't Try. think it would work. These people are now wearing my jeans. <laughs> this, this is two people in my jeans. Hi. <laughs> look, look, two people, face one, face two. Jump forward. De definitely in my jeans. <laughs> and now they're trying to walk. This, this is bad. <laughs> How does that bum look? <laughs> it's almost as big as mine. Wait, I think. how are we going to get out? Rachel. Oh. Again. Tenses in the French grammar. That's your fault for giving me okay, elements. But you can start! You don't like present! I mean, oh, come on. That's oh. French. Yeah. So well, technically, you would have to say it in French, but you can say it in English. Future. Future. Past. <laughs> True perfect. Ooh. I know it's a pretty tense. Past participle. Ooh. No, it's not tense. It's imperfect. It's a thing. Well, yeah, but she's close enough. <laughs> imperfect. There's more than that. Well, obviously. Can't you Near past. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can have that. You can yes. have it. <laughs> Present continuous. Ooh. Ooh. Bit of, bit of GCC. What's this one? Attention getting. Perfect. Ah! <laughs> You're not a fault with your Six. burger. Mm, impressive. Oh, That's wow. almost hobbitsies. I don't know. I don't actually remember. Why are all they gone? <laughs> There she is! Yeah. Ah! Ah! He let my ear! <laughs> so here we are on a very busy U1 heading back to Leamington. Tash here is popping, popping bubbles. It's very therapeutic, I've heard. And as you can see, it's is very, very busy. We've got tattoo arms, so he's cram people on. Don't worry, tattoo arms has crammed everybody. He's got us home quick, that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, we're actually, we're in Leamington. Where are we in Leamington? We are just, yeah, we are. We've just entered North Leamington. I'm getting off at the top of the parade. I believe you're going further south into the dark depths. Into the dark depths of South Leamington. People have just moved, I can actually breathe now. It's good. <laughs> Um, this really is documentary style. This is documentary, yeah. This Documenting life. life on the U1. Hard hitting. <laughs> the bus was full, so couldn't get the 10 past 8 one. Had to wait half an hour to get the bus again. But I'm finally in Leamington. Coke or Pepsi, Coke or Pepsi. What do I go for? What did you think of Warwick campus? Campus is alright, it's just the people. They're any of the sorts here, <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm too, too good. Obviously, they, they couldn't handle all of this. Do you think you think it's a cross as well? No. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, Ed's bitter because Warwick wouldn't let him in because he's not good enough. Thanks. Thank God for Knoxbridge then. Knoxbridge. <laughs> sounds like it sounds like a bisto. Sounds like a stop cube. Sounds so much better. Yeah, it does. They both made up. Knoxbridge doesn't make any sense anyway. You haven't got the Knox. Oh wait, that doesn't. Yeah, Knoxbridge. Oh, right, We're gonna have Woxbridge one day. You'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah, great. Right. right. Well. <laughs> anyway, Joe, what did you think? Mm, it's all right. It's all right. That's about it. I gotta be honest. Wow. Uh, you heard it here first, it's, people. It, it's in the middle of nowhere. Nah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, these guys... Yeah. You're both biased because you're yeah. Nottingham. I hate Nottingham. Shit. Mm. That's just... Much better than Warwick, though. How dare you. <laughs> They're wrong, everyone. I, I'm pro... I'm pro Warwick. Mm. Ed's room in Nottingham. Well, Beesden. He's not actually a Christian, although that is Jesus. <laughs> it's a reenactment thing, as is that banner over there, and, you know, that thing, and that hat, and most of the stuff in that pile over there. But, you know, it is a kind of all-encompassing hobby. And this is the letter I sent him the other day. Float with me, baby. You are my significant otter. It has otters. It's the best way to be. How many swords is that? Uh, lots. Well, that's four. Five. The swords are finished. The axes are finished. <laughs> what it was, was the, it got in photo and we moved it for Christmas. Uh, Make it happen. <laughs> Uh, actually after 12 now, so I don't really need to record anymore. Ed's having a snack before we go to bed. We've just watched Men in Tights. It was funny. Bye. I would film that. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem with work and it. It was not the problem with work a day. Work a day is a great idea, by the way. It's fantastic. From He's the station manager of WTV, he has to say that. This lift took no a while. Didn't, didn't think this lift took as long as it did. That video could get us all in trouble, delete it.